Hi there! So today I am going to be planting up a hanging basket. I usually plant this uh, cocoa hanging basket up every year with Tradescantia and I just I feel like I've said this so many times but I had so much going on this year I just didn't get as much um, planting done as far as annuals go. Um, I got a bunch of annuals in the ground like my uh, big begonias here and then some beacon impatience that my sister grew me but my pots kind of were lacking this year um, and so I kind of I brought some different house plants out and I've got some mangave that I brought out to kind of decorate my front porch for the summer. Out a hanging basket full of tradescantia and I love that plant because it kind of carries me through the end of the summer and the fall which is coming up and I don't want to admit that but it's coming <laughs> um and it uh yeah it carries me through like the whole fall season and Halloween season as well and that is because it's got this gorgeous purple color to it and you can see I've got some right here the back of the leaf is super pretty and purple and then the front of the leaf is super pretty and purple too with that like variegated green stripe down the middle and I can't believe it, but I was at my sister's house the other day helping her get ready for her farmer's market. Uh, we made a movie and we, we caught a bunch of flowers and uh, she she had a great day at the market. She sold out of all her flowers. She also sells succulent uh, planters and um, hanging uh, macrame plants, house plants, succulents, cactus, um, cut flowers. She does jewelry, all kinds of different things. But anyway. Um, I was leaving and she's like, come come out in my greenhouse, I wanna give you some free plants. I'm like, no, you don't have to do that. And she's like, no, I want you to have some free plants. So anyway, she gave me a whole tray of succulents, which I should go get those and show you. You guys would probably love to see. And she's like, here, take this huge tray of Tradescantia. <laughs> and she had four other trays that she tried to give me. And by my tray, I mean, look, I don't even know. One, two, three, four, five times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five times ten. Oh, I can do that. That's fifty, right? <laughs> yeah, fifty. Fifty plants of Tradescantia. And it was I was it was such a blessing because I didn't get to plant them this year and she just had these. Um, so anyway, I am going to just jam pack this hanging basket full of this Tradescantia and then we're gonna hang it up there where I usually hang my hanging baskets and then I'm sure we'll have tons left over. I might put some in just like a pot, a planter. So I did buy this bag of um, potting soil and I have another one in the garage if I don't have enough, but ugh, it's really wet. That's okay. So we'll just dump it right in here. Okay, I got my other bag. These small bags aren't too expensive. They're like $5.97, I think. Um, so if you're just doing like little house plant planters and things, you know, like little four inch, six inch type of stuff, it's not that expensive. But when you're doing lots of <laughs> uh, planters for the season, it gets really expensive. And I am gonna pack it out because usually I've got this, you know, the whole season long and it's nice and thick and full, but we're starting it just a little bit late. <laughs> okay. I brought my the thing of succulents out that she gave me too, so you guys can see that. I can't be out here too long I have to hurry because my husband um I well I have to go to the football game tonight because my husband is a trainer for the st uh, all the students at our local school here and um the first football game is tonight so he wants to or he's, he's got to be there. 
I shouldn't say he's gotta be there. He gets to go and like stand on the field on the sidelines and kind of support the students and stuff like that. But uh, I just dropped him off at the school and because he has to be there early and then I'm gonna go up once the game starts. But um, he just got done telling me that our, our school is second in the state. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, is that a mistake? <laughs> He's like, no, it's like, it's for real. And, uh, and I go, oh, but that's just like for your class, right? Or whatever it's called. Class? Yeah. You're like class A or B or C or whatever. And he's like, no, that's like for everything. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't realize that. So anyway, I say all that because I gotta hurry up and get up there. At start, the game starts at seven and I think it's like f around six o'clock right now. <laughs> but we'll be fine. ended up with yeah I planted quite a bit so I think I might find a pot and uh, put the rest of these just in a pot let's hang it up and see what we're dealing with here got a license to fight why don't you mind your own business mind your own business because if you mind your business I might need my S hook. I'm trying to find my S hook, but I found this um, planter, and I was thinking it would be nice for the fall. And then when I'm done with the fall, I can turn it around and use it for Christmas. I think I got this from my grandma, uh, my grandma Bonnie. Um, thanks, grandma. I already some soil in here, but. Not that much. Let me see if I got some more. Um, so sometimes if I have like a plant that dies or um, a plant that I just want to transplant into another plant, I'll just leave the soil in that pot and then reuse it. <laughs> so that's what this soil is. And there, it worked. <laughs> If I want a honky tonk till two or three Now brother, that's my headache, don't you worry about me Just mind your own business Mind your own business Cause if you mind your business Then you won't be minding mine Minding other people's business seems to be how I talk Got all that I can do just to mind my own Why don't you mind I wanted to show you all the succulents she gave me. So there's a few succulents in here that are not actually succulents. They're hens and chicks. So I'm going to take these because they are hardy and I'm going to put them in my hens and chicks planter that I have on the back deck. There's a little one in here. So all these are hardy. They're not, they're not succulents. They're hens and chicks that I can actually put in that jar and they'll come back next year. So I'm going to just take these. I think that that's it. Yeah, the rest of these need um, to go inside. Well, not now. I could, I could, we could make a, a succulent planter, keep it outside, and then I'll bring it inside for the winter. But yeah, anyway, I think that'll be good for now. I'm gonna find my little pan shovel. Is that it? Yeah, this one I like to use for the tiny little pot.
You know what? Crap. Shoot. Hmm. Okay, guys, I am pretty sure there's poison ivy in here. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and I see a giant spider web. So, um, I'm trying to be really strong right now, but I really want to, like, first of all, I have to stop and go wash my hands and take care of this uh, poison ivy right there. I'm pretty sure that's poison ivy. Um, and then I'm... <laughs> I don't like spiders. So... We're gonna um, try to, let's wash my hands and then uh, get rid of that poison ivy and then hopefully uh, the spider will go away. Mm. It might be an old web. You know what? Yeah, I gotta wash my hands. I think we're good. It looks like a crime scene out here. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna take this paper bag, or plastic bag and grab this little plant right here because I'm 99% sure that that's poison ivy right there um, yeah we'll grab that make oh crap I didn't get all the roots I'm just gonna dig in here and grab just a big chunk and whatever comes out comes out can't be bothered with the poison ivy. Okay, now let's deal with the spider situation. I didn't see a spider, I just seen a spider web. <laughs> Equally as scary as a spider. I'm being real brave right now. I think we're good on the spider. And let's fluff this up. Keep thinking that one's off and then, oh. <gasps> Somebody's. <gasps> it's my brother! We call him Boo. Oh, oh, no, no. <gasps> Hi! Hey. What's up, Josh? I'm making a movie. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, YouTube video. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to? Do you want to say hi to all my friends on YouTube? Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'll shut it off. I'll see it's you guys the next in day. And this is how I left it. <laughs> I had a phone call from my brother and I dropped everything. And then I had to get going on to the football game. Yes, yeah, so I apologize that I abruptly cut you guys off, but um, if you don't know already, my, my little brother, my youngest brother, I'm the oldest of six kids, and um, my youngest brother is in the Army Infantry. He is a machine gunner, and anyway, he's stationed over in Germany right now, and uh, we haven't seen him for a year and a half, I think, but anytime he calls, I'm like, um, answer straight away <laughs> and I soak it up for all it's worth um so oh gosh I'm gonna cry um we're not we're not crying today um so anyway I uh yeah I I feel for all the military families out there and gosh bless your hearts and uh it's it's a struggle especially when they're overseas um and I won't I don't want to get into it but um just with everything that is going on. This is 2022 right now, if you're watching in the future. <laughs> and there's lots, lots of things going on in our world in that area. Uh, so I, it's just, but we just pray for him and we give it to God and just, uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, I'm glad you guys got to meet him. <laughs> So we're gonna carry on and continue planting up these uh, amazing little hens and chicks that most of, all of these ones I got from my sister. And then this one I just pulled out from the top the next morning. I don't know if I told you that. So yeah, I, had, I talked to my brother and then I went ahead and I had to get to the, um, the football game, which we won the football game. So I'm gonna plug this little guy in here. So I've got these like little tiny ones and there are holes. Like I could put that little tiny one in there. That would fit pretty good. Let me loosen that up a little bit. 
There's one that's hanging down here. It looks really pretty, but I can just, you know, pinch this off and plug it in here. And that will create its own little root system. Oh yeah, look at all these hanging way low. They're super pretty, but might as well plug them in up here. We'll plug that one in. I think I'm gonna grab one of these off and plug it. This one I could probably break a chunk off. Let's try. I'm just gonna hold this tight and break this off. There. And you can see it came with some nice roots. Right here, that and there. That'll be pretty. I'm gonna take this whole thing off, put it in the top, and then put this one back in. So, I'm just gonna carefully separate it. Oh! Little baby popped off. So, then there I got two. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I don't want to keep these succulents in here for any longer. I want to get them planted into something. I don't have a pot that can fit all of these succulents in it. I want to try to get them all in the same pot. But I do have this giant terracotta saucer. And I don't know if it has the tag on it anymore. Oh yeah. And 14.2 inch round and I was thinking it's about like an inch and a half deep not too deep but I was thinking just for you know through the rest of the season here and the you know winter season this year coming up which oh gosh I feel like I said a swear word if I sing the W word at least hopefully they'll keep in here and then I thought there's still no way all of those are gonna fit in that saucer so I was thinking to create more space, we could bump a pot up and we're only losing that much space. But if we like put that pot on top of it, we'd gain a little bit more. I don't know. I was thinking this one too, but I, I thought about putting it on my kitchen table. So I kind of like the color of this better but this could give me more room for plants. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna just mess around with it. It might turn out cool, it might be a complete fail, but at least we're out here having fun. This is just the miracle Girl cactus mix. It's like six bucks a bag. All right guys, I don't know. Maybe a bad idea, but we'll see. Okay. Put that down in there. You might be cool. Slide that up on there.
take the root off, or not the root, but some of it so I can fit it better. Hopefully, once I get some things packed in around that, it will stand up better. I bought my, or I brought my uh, pea stone rocks out here in case we need to fill in spaces of soil at the end. Alright, so we got some green, some like whitish color. Let's do this one. And we'll put it on this side because I could put it over here, but it's kind of too similar to that leaf structure, so might look better on this side. I'm just gonna pack these in. What do we got here? I'm trying to look for the tall ones. This one might be kind of cool. Like right behind it. No, it's too tall. We'll save that. Oh gosh, these are a uh, mother of millions. These are a crazy plant. So all of these little stalks that come off create their own little babies and then you can actually take these little babies off and plant those. But these are a little bit nuts. <laughs> I could just put this in the top and call it a day. Um, but we'll put that aside. There's another kind of taller one. It's kind of the same leaf structure, so let's see if I can grab how about that one and we'll take the bottom off. I could put that, that kind of separates these two leaf structures. I'm kind of mounding this soil up a little bit. Okay, what else have we got in here that could give us some height? So we've got this one and Normally I wouldn't let these things get that big and leggy, um, but for what I'm doing, I think it's kind of cool because it's c coming up over this uh, uh, pot here. All right, what do we need? Maybe some red. That's kind of cool. That gives the, like the red stalk and then the variegated little leaf and it's a, a smaller leaf so I don't have that in here yet. Man these roots are so good. I think transplanting them into anything at this point is going to make them happy. So we got a little bit of red. Hmm. That would might be good over on this side. Oh, that looks pretty, you guys. Look. Oh, oops. Hopefully it'll stand up once I get something in front of it. Doesn't that look pretty together? something in front of this so it doesn't keep falling over. Maybe some red or purple. Echeveria. That might be pretty. Um, but maybe something in front of that yet. So 
and then this Kalancho over here. He was working out west on the circle of ranch Chasing wild horses that called him a wrangling man He said, Mama, give me 35 days and I could break me in an old black Mustang But give me three long years and I'll let Jenny get away I said, boy, now, only God knows Till you're six feet under and headed up heaven bound So strip up your boots, the cowboy, keep on moving You're wasting all the daylight keeping your chin down She would end every night on her knees and pray Lord, give me a baby, I wanna be a mama someday She said, Mama, now I'm 35 years old The days ain't getting any longer My faith is fading, my prayers ain't getting any stronger I said, baby girl, only God knows And he ain't telling Till you're six feet under up your boots, little darling, keep on moving. You're wasting all the daylight, keeping your chin down. Be a year tomorrow since we said goodbye Forty years married, the man I love my whole thing like I said, baby, now please hold on Maybe God will give you one more day But then he took you that weekend The last thing I'd ever hear you say Only God knows We are all done. It took us a couple days just because I was trying to squeeze a few things in my busy schedule over the last couple days. But man, I was, I'm was i really glad I got all the succulents planted too. I was wondering what I was going to do with all those. So, um, But yeah, I'm just going to take you around real, real quick and we will show you all the different things that we got done. And yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming along with me. Let's go check everything we out. We ended up filling up this strawberry jar here with some more colorful hens and chicks. We took from, I think it was that hole. Uh, I had a giant chunk hanging out and we separated it and put some up here to add some of that red reddish color there. And then we kinda fixed up the other holes so that they can kinda grow in a little bit. 
and wrapped that one in the back because there's a spider web. Um, but yeah, I think that the other succulents and cactus out here at summer camp are gonna enjoy their new friend that arrived. So you guys are welcome. Have fun. All right, let's go to the front porch. I'll go out the front door. I got my tritoscantia all planted and you can see it's nice and full. I ended up finding my S hook to, to drop it down a little bit and I think it's a really pretty height. But it just adds some more color and as you can imagine, as we go into um, the F word and the W word, <laughs> fall and winter, um, we will... Uh, this color will be a really nice way to transition. A uh, Tratiscantia transition. And then I had obviously tons of it. So I went ahead and put the extra chunks of it in this little planter. And then uh, when it's done with fall, we can, where'd it go? Flip it around and it's got a little cute Christmas tree on it. So. We'll Christmas it up a little bit. This one turned out really awesome. I wasn't sure about sticking all of these plants in and kind of shoving them all around, but I think it turned out pretty good. Over to this side. Yeah, this side is much more colorful. But I think all sides are super interesting. And that one is blooming right there, so that's cool. And I'll probably keep it in this little planter here all throughout the winter. And it should do fine until next spring slash summer. And then I will, you know, see which ones need to come out, which ones need a little bit more space. But I think this will be super neat to just sit here on my table. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. This little like cutting board slash serving thing. My little brother and his uh, girlfriend made this for me and they carved the little Michigan shape in it. So that's cool. I always put something fun on it, like a plant usually. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that that was fun for you to watch me put together just a crap load of succulents that my sister gave me and a bunch of Tratoscantia. Thank you, Coco, for all the wonderful plants. And I, I it, it was like a perfect blessing because it's exactly what I wanted this year and didn't get to do, um, the Tratoscantia hanging basket. And then also I've been staring at that uh, strawberry jar of hens and chicks that didn't come back from last year and it's been driving me nuts but i just couldn't be bothered so thank you so much and thank the rest of you guys for watching i really appreciate you and i hope that you have just a really awesome day only god knows and he ain't telling do you see it Listen all the daylight, keeping your chin down.